Hey what's up guys, this is Tebow here. Welcome back to another episode of Gemstone Legends. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Richard uh, as my uh, continued series for Hero Highlights. And in the previous video, I talked about Benedict and Richard is the brother in his family. They both heal, uh, but Richard has additional skill uh, for immunity. Okay, so what we're going to do is first let's jump into my Discord server. Again, the link to the Discord is in my description below. We're going to take a look at the skill for units that can heal others, right? So we're looking at support cards that heal. And so if you type this in, you'll see all of the heroes that can provide heals to other allies. And you can see that Richard's in here. Now, Richard has another ability, and that is immunity. So he grants immunity to other uh, allies as well. And there's not as many of them this time. So you can see that there's only five rare heroes that can provide immunity. And only Floki, Nessa, and Richard actually give immunity to multiple and to all allies. So there is definitely a lot of benefit to using Richard. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about his skills. We're going to talk about his equipment. And then we're going to see him in action. But before we do that, I uh, wanted to talk about two things. First, I am going to be giving away a code today, uh, just like in the previous video. So if you keep watching, you'll uh, stay tuned for a, uh, to, to, for a redeemable code, which I will go over with you. And then the second thing is Richard is actually one of the heroes that you can use to do fusion for Premier Slap. And so my recommendation here is you, if you're going to do a fusion for Premier Slap, then you really want to have two copies of Richard, one for fusion and the other for you to use as, you know, an actual hero. Because you don't want to put all of your resources in Richard only for him to be sacrificed because you're going to lose all of his uh, levels and all of the resources you put in them. And so the best thing is to just look for two copies of Richard before you start using him as your main hero. All right, so let's talk about his skills now. So Richard... Uh, restores 15% of target's uh, health to all allies and then grants immunity for three turns. If you get them max leveled, it will be 19% health uh, heal and then three uh, still three turns for immunity. So it doesn't add, it doesn't go up. And his armor gives him you know additional uh, ability to survive. Like he takes less damage for more positive status affecting him. And so at level one is 3%, level seven is 5%. So you can give more um, survivability. Well, what that means is as a support unit, again, it's the same idea. You really want to give him more health. So you focus on health, focus on defense so that, uh, so that he could survive the hits more so that he can give more support to the unit. You'll notice that I have two uh, two sets of caster equipment here, mainly because I'm looking at his mana gain. It starts at 23. I'm trying to get it to 25 so that he only needs to match four gems to activate his uh, skill. But I don't think it's absolutely necessary in my opinion. I'm testing this out as you know an experiment, but I think that if you have better equipment to give him more health and more uh, defense, that might actually be better. All right. Um, Especially since caster I, uh, caster sets aren't easy to come by, I would say you can save them for you, uh, heroes that can really benefit from it. So my opinion, uh, you don't have to use caster sets. Focus more on the health and the defense, and I think that's going to serve you better. All right. And so before I forget, I think this is probably what I'm going to do. Last time I did it after the battle, and today I'm going to do this before the battle. So we're going to go and jump into the inbox and we're going to redeem a code. And the code that we're going to type in here is going to be team and it's going to be underscore. Actually, there is no capital T, so make sure that it's all lowercase. Okay, so team uh, horizon. So this is going to be the code, and if you uh, hit confirm, then you're going to get one gold scroll and also a hundred energy. All right, so uh, go ahead and claim that. It is going to be good for for a while, and then uh, let's go back now to to the rift. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Ashen Grove. We're gonna jump in just like in the previous uh, video. We're gonna do a battle of ten right now, and we're gonna jump in. And I'm going to talk about the placement of your heroes also. So I have Bodden, Elias, and Richard, and also um, I have uh, Inula all on the left side because they're all area of effect sort of, you know, um, damage dealers or, you know, some, you know, positive effects and whatnot. And so the only person that is going to deal single, uh, 
unit damage is Nora and she's on the far right. Generally, that's how you want to do this because you that's how you want to uh, play out in auto fights. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to stop the auto fight and I'm going to jump right into a manual fight because I want to show you a sort of like, you know, something that's important for uh, units like Richard or anyone that you're, you're trying to use uh, for the purposes of um, for the purposes of getting immunity or, you know, uh, some sort of a buff for your units, okay? Because keep in mind, there's a turn counter and that means every time that you 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 have a turn, like every time one of your units attacks, uh, you're going to end up uh, going down in counter for that unit's ability, okay? And so if you use Richard's skill too early, then that means you're not going to be able to get the immunity uh, active by the time the opponents start attacking and so that is why uh, generally you want to try and make sure that you can have uh, your your skills saved up for um, right before the, the the enemies attack okay and so we're going to go ahead and uh, wait for the for the attacks to, to complete and we're also going to try and see if we can uh, get our immunity to be activated uh, before the Phoenix um, before the Phoenix wave in the next um, in the next battle and so we're going to uh, try and do this okay so we're going to get Richard's uh, ability going and then we won't be able to activate it now but it's okay because um, the Phoenix will not be able to use the skill anyway and so now what we're gonna do is we're just going to go ahead and use the skills and we're gonna use Inula's skill even though uh, it's not really going to matter because uh, sleep doesn't work on um, end bosses anymore and so we're not going to uh, worry about that. And so let's go ahead and uh, just keep attacking here. So you notice what I did was I used um, bottom skill first to increase the attack of uh, all the allies. So then uh, their damage to uh, to the boss is going to be higher. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do this. And then we're going to activate the immunity now. And then we're going to try and also see if we can get um, more of the uh, damage from you know we wanted to to get um, Nora's skill going and as you can see here we were able to resist the burn but we can't resist the damage that the um, that the boss will deal so that's the thing like we, we, we will still have damage uh, but we can also um, you know heal a little bit and so you can see here there's three that's three sets of burn that we would have uh, had to deal with uh, if we didn't have immunity in place that would have uh, really made it difficult if we don't have a way to dispel okay and so that is that is um, you know the benefit of having the um, that is the benefit of having the um, the immunity here because if you were using Benedict it would be really hard for you to be able to dispel all three uh, sets of burn that would have been casted uh, against us and so this is um, this is where Immunity is better over just you know this spell. Okay, and so there you, there you go. There's Richard in a, a fight. This is manual, so it took a lot longer. But I wanted to explain sort of you know how you would go about this anyways. Okay, right? so that was basically the fight here. And so as far as you know, Richard versus um, you know Richard versus Benedict goes. I think that they they're good in different situations as well. But overall, if you're looking at dealing with opponents that have a lot of negative uh, you know statuses, Richard is going to be a little bit more helpful in the situation. But if you're looking for situations where you want a little bit more heal and you only need to worry about the occasional uh, dispel, then actually Benedict is going to work better for you. So two different units, two different uses, but they're both useful heroes. Hopefully this has been uh, helpful for you and uh, useful information. And uh, that's all, that's going to be it for me for today in today's video. So again, thanks a lot for watching. Continue to, to stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And also if you're downloading the game for the first time, there are also instructions for the link to the game and also a code that you can use to get some nice in-game gift, including a free epic hero. So pay attention to uh, the in the in the description. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next time. Take care. Bye now.